Okay, everybody, I'm back with the Lunar Magic tutorial. So, I made a little level off screen. Just a little level, nothing big. Uh, last time I explained to you the basics of objects and tiles, but now I'm going to explain a little bit more like pipes and some of the extra features that you can add, such as the dragon coins or Yoshi coins, whatever you prefer calling them. But I'll just show you my level that I made. The overworld I will show in a different episode, it just depends. I made these say something different too, which I will explain as well, even though it's in the overworld, but it just goes in the level, so... Alright, it says, be careful of the wrecks and keep your eyes out for any incoming enemies at any given time. Good luck in World 1. Um... So yeah, I just place Rex's around. This is nothing compared- Oh yeah, and I got the bullet bills. Shooting actual bullet bills. Um, bullet bill shooters. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry about the little screen thing last time. I don't know if it's gonna be fixed this time, but... It's just the emulator, I don't know. Yes, I did place invisible blocks. This one says, this will be helpful, but when you see a switch palace, go to it. If you don't, your path will be obstructed by invisible blocks. I did... Wrong buttons. <sighs> Tutorial fail. I used to have different controls, so I have to get used to these new ones, because I'm not changing them again. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Uh, the dragon coins, there's something weird about these, but if you place them in a quote-unquote negative space, as the game says, or Lunar Magic says, um, it'll act really strange, and it won't just give you one, it'll give you like a billion, so... That's an exaggeration, don't listen to that. But it gives you a lot more than usual, and it gives you one-ups, and it just defeats the whole purpose of placing the other ones. So, that's how the pipes work. I got Yoshi. And I changed what he said, too. He now says, thank you for saving me, Mario. If you don't mind, I would like to come with you on your journey. I must save my friends as well. So... I got this little thing working, boop, boop, boop. and I got this working too, so. It's an extended tile, so. And I had a little prize right there. I don't think Yoshi can beat it, can he? Yeah. There we go. Place little coins, you know, a little fancy. And then we'll end the level. So that's just my basic level that did take me like 15 minutes, so uh, I was listening to my music, which I will not play during this because I don't want copyright issues. So that's my level. Now I'm going to show you pipes, the dragon coins, and the voice boxes. So. First, I'm just going to show you the level names. You have to go to this little castle icon right here, the Overworld Editor window. Open that and you'll get these tabs, the Undo, the Save, the Layer 1, 6, just ignore all that. What you want to see is Edit Message Box, if you want to change the boxes, or go to, um, go to overworld and go to edit level names now don't just go to one and think it's the actual level one you have to go by what its actual number so this is 105 go to 105 see it's Rexyland oh my god now I'm saying Rexyland Rex Island I will actually put a space right there okay Rex Island and don't forget to hit save to ROM, because then you'll just lose everything you did. 
And with this, you have a 1 and a 2 for everything. 0, 0 is just the introduction, which I changed to Welcome to Adventure Island. Here you'll complete many challenging tasks. Good luck and save the princess. And of course, I changed what Yoshi says. And every level has two different ones. So you just skip around until you get to the first level, or whatever level you're on. And just put it. And you only have a limited space. So, you can also change, like, if it has word wrap or auto space, which I hate. Because it looks wrong. And yeah, you just do that. Click save. And you're done, and it'll appear. Now, with the pipes. Ooh. Um. Just for the sake of doing it quicker, uh, first you'll have to go to the tile editor, open the window, and you'll scroll down until you see it pipe, and it has to say with exit enabled. Now if you don't put this in a cert, if you don't give it an exit or an entrance, then it'll corrupt your whole ROM. If you go in it, It'll just teleport you to the bonus room where you'll be stuck in there forever until you fix it. Now. When you open it, you get all this weird stuff. Screen number of exit, add, modify, delete. You get all these screen numbers. And then there is level destination where you have to put all the levels. Okay. You can also delete them as secondary exits. Which means you can have two exits in a world. Which I did a lot because I had a lot of secret stuff, but how do you tell which screen it's on? Well, press F1 and this will appear. Mine is on screen 00, zero right now, so I keep it on 00. zero. And let's put it on 26 because that's one of the test level numbers. And I'll say exit to 26. Save it. And then go to level 26. The test will come up, don't worry about that. This just for extra levels, so... If you're entering through a pipe, make sure you get another pipe, and don't do exit enabled, or else it'll still kind of crash your game if you go into it. Um, Alright, you just do that, and... Um, just for the sake of showing, I will put a goal. And there are also... Uh, midway points, which I usually didn't use in my old one because it was all about getting through without dying. I use them in some where you actually need it or else you can't really do it. Uh, I was in commands. Oh yeah, I also have to show you how the bullet bills work. So just like goal. Goal, where are you? There you are. Standard goal. Do There you go. And then... And you can only use a certain amount of objects every world. I think it's about, um, a hundred something. I don't know, but it's a nice map. So it'll still be like a normal entrance, like he just teleports there, but like if you're using with the door. So you have to have the little Mario icon, and you would have to do... Oops, no, not the Mario icon. No. Oh my god, I was just on it. Oh, you can also press that. Oh, herpeter. You go to the door with the one. Or at modify main and midway entrance. And you have to do Mario action, whatever one it is. Mine would be vertical pipe, exit up. And you'll see he's right in the middle of it. You don't want that. You'd want to move him up. So, move him up by one. His He has to be on the upper part of it. Or else he'll just come up and it'll just be stuck in there. And that wouldn't be very fun for a little Mario. He'd be trapped in there for eternity and nobody wants that, do they? I do, but who cares? Whatever, just like... It's heaven. It's like... Lives everywhere. 
I might have exceeded the maximum amount of objects. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> yeah. So before we redo this, go back to level 105. And where the bolt bills are, you see these strange... Here, let's get rid of this. See these strange little bolt bill things? This is in the... You'll have to go to Sprite Editor for this. In the special commands and generators. You'll have to use the bolt bill shooter. You have to put it where the star is, you know, it gives you that little indicator. It doesn't matter what way it's facing, so it'll just follow you. Um, you just put it on its little shooter, and I'll start. The stupid thing I did at first was, I put this, I was like, oh yeah, this just shoots one, let's sh keep shooting him, but no. You put him right here, and it just shoots him in random directions out of the screen, and I died. And I was like, oh. And jumping fish generator, so you could just put jumping fish. Yeah. Turn off generator two. Can we turn off generator two spray and force a few other sprites to go away? Alright. Turn off gen two. That would be right here. I'm Doesn't sorry, everybody. I meant the x-axis and not the y-axis. Um, not just x and y. This drawing I'll do later because I didn't really introduce that in this level. Let's save it. Um, yeah, that's really all I did with this level that I didn't show you. Oh wait, the Yoshi coins. That's right. Hold on, let me go back to level 26. And then you'll just... Um, hold on. Oh, yeah. They aren't extended objects. You can do it on the 16 by 16, but it's easier with extended objects. A lot easier. Just keep going until you find out. And that's what it says. A Yoshi coin. Mario will get an extra life by collecting five of these in a level and receive an extra life for every additional one he collects in the level after that. If he collect, if all five are collected, they will not be respawned on the player's next visit. Be careful not to place the coin in a sub screen boundary or half the coin may not vanish uh -huh. <sighs> or half the coin may not vanish when the player touches it okay so what does that all mean well look move objects you see it's just oh god see it's a negative five six you don't want any negatives I'll show you it's in a negative. Alright, let's place it right there. And let's place them all in a positive. Three. Four. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Ooh. Cancel. There we go. And then F4. There we go. And the pipes do change color according to where they are on the X or what screen they're on. See, I'm just like teleporting here. Coins! Ah! One ups. See, you just like collect them normally. Uh, oh, darn. But when you collect this thing, look. Oh, now it works. What a great example. Oh yeah, and do not place them on the bottom. Just saying. There we go. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. 
it like right over here you know or like up more I heard that but when I hit it only bottom half it um stayed there and it was just like one up 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 and I was like what this happened to me a lot of times before, and I had to fix them. And going through like 30 stages to fix them is very fun. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I'm not gonna give a tutorial on how to do it wrong, so... It's kind of the wrong thing. Alright, but first, before I end this, I'm... I'm gonna show the fish generator. Alrighty then. Rex, you are disease awesome. fishies and then they stop because I hit the um, layer 2 generator all right that's actually all for this part that was actually pretty quick oh if you're wondering about the invisible blocks do not use them I just had nothing else to use them for um, these are objects, so if you want to use them a lot, I do not. You should not. I'll just say that because then you'll overfill your level with too many objects and some will just disappear. That won't be very fun at all. But yeah. That's all for this one. So see you later, and next time we're gonna check out the overworld changers and more level stuff so see you later <laughs>